Grief is the price we pay for love. I lived long enough to know that things never remain quite the same for very long. Quo facet gloria ducunt, with a right and glory lead. The true measure of all our actions is how long the good in them lasts. I have to be seen to be believed. When life seems hard, the courageous do not lie down and accept defeat, instead, they are all the more determined to struggle for a better future. In an era when the regular worthy rhythm of life is less eye-catching than doing something extraordinary, I am reassured that I am merely the second sovereign to celebrate a diamond jubilee. First, I want to pay tribute to Diana myself. She was an exceptional and gifted human being. In good times and bad, she never lost her capacity to smile and laugh, nor to inspire others with her warmth and kindness. I admired and respected her, for her energy and commitment to others, and especially for her devotion to her two boys. Therefore I am sure that this, my coronation, is not the symbol of a power and a splendor that are gone but a declaration of our hopes for the future, and for the years I may, by God's grace and mercy, be given to reign and serve you as your queen. Like all the best families, we have our share of eccentricities, of impetuous and wayward youngsters and of family disagreements. We lost the American colonies because we lacked the statesmanship to know the right time and the manner of yielding what is impossible to keep. It is easy enough to define what the Commonwealth is not. Indeed this is quite a popular pastime. It's all to do with the training, you can do a lot if you're properly trained. I cannot lead you into battle. I do not give you laws or administer justice but I can do something else, I can give my heart and my devotion to these old islands and to all the peoples of our brotherhood of nations. My husband has quite simply been my strength and stay all these years, and I owe him a debt greater than he would ever claim. The British Constitution has always been puzzling and always will be. I have been aware all the time that my people, spread far and wide throughout every continent and ocean in the world, were united to support me in the task to which I have now been dedicated with such solemnity. No one who knew Diana will ever forget her. Millions of others who never met her, but felt they knew her, will remember her. I hope that tomorrow we can all, wherever we are, join in expressing our grief at Diana's loss, and gratitude for her all too short life. It is a chance to show to the whole world the British nation united in grief and respect.